emphasis on the attaining of a six pack for men and for women to a degree. Um, I think it's largely overrated and not necessarily healthy and a lot of times quite unhealthy for everybody to be gutting for a six pack. Um, I don't think everybody can get a six pack and I don't think everybody should get a six pack. So um, I'm part of the camp that says if you want to do it, great. You can still be healthy and live outlive anybody without a six pack too. Um, and anytime it becomes an all-consuming obsession for you to want to see the veins creeping up the bottom row of your abs, then you've got potential problems. Something that just kind of cracks me up, about guys especially, you know, any, any number of guys who are in good shape, they'll be like, 6% body fat. 6%. And you're like, oh, damn, that's amazing. You know why? Because, uh, elite Olympic athletes, <laughs> you must be leaner than them. Um, so th this is an interesting study, a cross-section of elite Olympic athletes. And average uh, body fat percent for college age men and women, 15 and 25 percent, right? So the athletes involved in, in sports where you have to make weight, um, typically, uh, we're, we're, typically we're in the uh, 6 to 9 percent, let's say 7 percent, 7 to 8 percent in men for uh, Olympic level wrestlers and wrestlers and boxers. So you think, just picture an elite Olympic level wrestler or boxer. Seven to eight percent, okay? Now picture the guy who says he's six percent. All right, there's a difference in perception there. And one of them is all athletes involved in a sport where body weight is supported like swimming, uh, water, water sports. Males, a little bit higher body fat. 13 for uh, males, 22-ish for, for women. Male 100 and 200 meter sprints, 6.5% body fat. Okay. Female in the short distance sprints, 13.7% body fat. I've seen forums where women are dying to be 13%. And, and of course, what's the response? Good luck on your way to the games because you're gonna run with the elite on the lower end, right? 13% world-class female sprinters. Picture what they look like. Picture Flojo. I once calibrated a world-class female sprinter at 12.7%. I was like, shit, I gotta work out. Now, this is where we get really towards the fringe, and the extremes of leanness are really seen in contest day bodybuilders. I mean, these guys pull off some miraculous, miraculous stuff without dying, okay? Um, four to five percent on contest day, um, competitive bodybuilders. And you know, we see this, striated glutes, come on. You know, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're like this close from dying, man. <laughs> so, so that's what you're looking at. If somebody says, comes up to you and says, a guy comes up to you and says, you ask him what his goal is, I wanna be 7% body fat. Then you have to let him know, and you have to shake him up with some perspective on what that really means. Because chances are he has no idea. Um, body fat percentage range is considered healthy for the normal population. These numbers are, are published. Um, doesn't mean that everything published is true, but there was a certain minimal amount of rigor that went into these standards. So this is a 1996 study. For women, healthy is 20 to 30 percent. Men, 12 to 20 percent. A little more recently, based on fat-free mass index and uh, body fat mass index, a little more finessed. Um, women, 21.7 to 33.2 was considered norm, normal and healthy. And with men, it was 10.8 to 21.7%. Statistically normal and healthy, statistically lower risk for chronic disease and the rest of the nest. Success with um, reaching a physical goal is kind of an ongoing process. It's not this, you know, six pack at the end of your six months. That's the success part. You know, if you went from a keg to a blurry four pack, you're still you know, you're still all right. And mind you, there are communities where if you're 20% body fat as a male, you'll get called fat, or you get called fat fuck, actually. Um, so, so um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are outside of the standards of health. I'm, I'm convinced Jack Black is gonna live to 100 years old.